so you know, I was just walking, and I saw her with her eggs on top of her car, and, I, and she didn't realize it. And I came over here, and I took the I took the boxes I took the box right off the top of the car. Those are the eggs right there. They were right over here, as I have my pizza over there. And uh, but you know, these ladies right here had left their eggs on the top of their car, and I came over and I took it off the top of the car and I gave it back to them. I didn't ask him for anything or anything like that. I just gave it back to them. Just remember, do good things, good things happen to you. Isn't that right, ladies? It is. And as always, I'm Tommy NC2010, and do something good, keeping you on the inside fact. Keeping you on the inside fact. <laughs> that is catchy. <laughs> and the time it took to explain how he saved their eggs, those women could have driven home and made omelets for their husbands. That hefty humanitarian in the hat is Tommy Boy, and he has his very own YouTube channel where he preaches the gospel of good deeds to bewildered people too polite to tell them to f off. <laughs> if Jesus taught us anything, it's that running around helping others will eventually get you tortured and killed. <laughs> Being polite is a relic from a simpler time. Old people love telling you how back in their day, folks gave up their seat, opened doors, learned each other's names. There's none of that for any black people. <laughs> Acting like a gentleman is only a front for getting a good look at a woman's backside. Ooh. <laughs> the best deeds are done with money, not love. What do you think a kid with leukemia would rather have? The scarf you knitted them or the cure that I paid for? <laughs> These days, being kind to of strangers is just plain creepy, especially if you're filming it with a selfie stick. But Tommy Boy's heart is in the right place. That's why I flew him to Hollywood. We're the only nice person in town is the helpful Honda guy. And he's just a bitter, soulless actor who banged my manager and never called her back for this week's celebrity profile. And after having sex with her, he went into the bathroom and found that the Tuesday pill was still in the Tuesday slot. And not just this Tuesday, every Tuesday for the last three weeks. Hi, Daniel. Ah! What the hell is wrong with you, man? I said no scary stories. I'm out of here. Be the reason someone smiles today, Stephen. Tommy, come on in. Welcome to the Big Boy Scouts. And before you ask, no, we are not affiliated with the Illuminati. <laughs> Have a seat. We're a lot like the Boy Scouts, but we've only had two cases of sexual misconduct. But I thought you and Stephen are the only members. Yeah, we are. We filed against each other. It's your typical he said, he said. Mm. First of all, you look amazing. Thank you, I really appreciate that. You put a lot of work into how you dress? Yes, I do. I, uh, you know, I look into my closet and I just find a look and I go with it. Well, this is my new hat. It's a fedora. You like a fedora or a traditional trilby? What's a trilby? I don't know. Now, Tosh, let me help you here. Okay. There is, uh, there is a fedora uh -huh. and then there's a Humberg. Now, what you're wearing typically, that is a fedora. Thank you. And uh, typically it's oscillate to have the bill down on a fedora. Let me talk about the mustache. Yes. When did you decide to go with a mustache? It's a very classic look. I didn't decide to do it, it just started growing in. And I always wanted to have a mustache, so I just went with the look of the mustache. Those are the eggs right there. First of all, why did this woman need so many eggs? Picture this. I'm walking across, and I look over, and I see this woman backing out, and I start dashing. In those shoes, because those are dress shoes. Yes, I was running in dress shoes. Meanwhile, this woman, is, her eyes were just, oh, why is this man running at me? Uh-huh. I get to the top of her car, I grab the eggs, I walk over, I say, ma'am, here are your eggs. Oh, my goodness. Then I stopped her for a second, I said, ma'am, can I shoot a video with you real quickly? And she said, sure. And by quickly, you mean seven or eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess in the video, I tried not to pat myself on the back so much, but I guess it made it look like I was doing yes, it. Yes, a little bit, Tommy. How many of these good deeds are just court-ordered? None of them. Okay. Do you think she could have made it all the way home with the eggs on the roof? Maybe. That's how I lost my last girlfriend. <laughs> oh. I wish you were there. You could have told me she was up there. Men that hit women? They're a bunch of, I'm gonna say this, they're assholes. That's the one thing you damn don't do. I believe women do not, do not deserve to be harmed or hurt because... Because they're so fragile. Not fragile, women no, can... inferior. Not inferior. <laughs> Emotional crybabies. <laughs> no. The main thing that I, I do with all my videos is positivity. But the positive aspect is, is you can make it how you wanna make it. And if you can make it, 
anybody can make it. If I can make it, anybody can make it. I don't think that's true because I feel like I have a gift. I feel just because I can make it, most people cannot. If you have a gift, you know, okay, you have a gift. I have a gift. The standpoint is don't be too showboaty about it. That's where I mess up because I, I like to rub it in people's faces. And you always give some food pics on Instagram. Are you a foodie? I tweet before I eat. What's a typical meal that you would take a photo of? Something that's interesting, something that's out there. I have a gift for you, yes. You have a gift? Yes, I do. This is a needle felt figure, and I made it myself. That's actually me. Yeah, that's you. To be honest, it has a great head of hair. That's the first thing I noticed. I like it. You did a good job. Now, why'd you get into doing this? One of my old teachers, they got us into kind of like a factory kind of thing, and they- Factory? I don't like this. She saw my potential, so she started making me the head of the, the factory making needle felt figures for people. This sounds like a sweatshop, Tommy. No, it's not a sweatshop. Tommy, if I find out that you were running a sweatshop, <laughs> do you like sports? Professional wrestling. Okay, well, so no. One of my biggest dreams, hosting an episode of Monday Night Raw. That's your biggest dream? Biggest dream to host. Bam, I can't help you. <laughs> I know that. Who's your least favorite wrestler? Right now, would be Brock Lesnar. And I would tell him that. I would tell don't, him. Don't, don't, no, no, I don't, I don't need you doing that. Uh, can I, uh, Brock Lesnar, oh, you're no. a mercenary. Oh, here we go. I, I can't promise you that you're gonna get home safe. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Lesnar. Tommy, when I saw your videos, I knew you were the perfect candidate to join my big boy scouts. So let's get out there and do some good deeds. Let's do some good deeds. All right, but first, I need you to help me take down this tent so my cleaning lady doesn't think I'm a crazy person. Yeah, get out of here. Nobody wants you in this neighborhood. Oh, they are going to appreciate this. Hello, my name is Tommy. And I'm Daniel, his big Boy Scout leader. We just stopped the solicitor from coming to your door to sell magazines. Yeah, who needs magazine subscriptions these days? Okay, great. It's very inconvenient. Excuse me, please. No one likes to be bothered at home. Go ahead and thank our camera. Yeah, please, stop it. We're just trying to be helpful. An attractive woman like yourself, home, alone. I'm gonna call the police. Well, okay, then call the police. I gotta run. Yeah, let me help you across the street there, man. Oh, that's nice Helping of you. people across the street is just a nice thing to do. Mm -hmm. Where are you heading, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, the beauty shop. Oh. Thank you, sugar. You're welcome. Uh, bitch, who told you to leave your damn corner? I was on a break. Break? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shake your damn ass. You never hit a woman. And I'm gonna say it. Men they hit women are freaking assholes. That's the one thing you don't damn do. Oh, man, that ain't no damn woman. Yeah, it's a man. He's a cross-dresser. He just so happens to owe me a little bit of money. I'm confused. Me too. Well, the majority of cross-dressers are actually heterosexual. They just like to dress up as the opposite gender. A cross-dresser is a man that dresses up like a woman, or vice versa. While transgender is the state of one's gender identity, not matching one's assigned sex. Transvestite means the same thing as cross-dresser, except, you know, it's a more outdated term and thought to be a little derogatory. It's like a TED Talk. Can we leave? For the record, I would never hit a transgender individual identifying as female. There's also an appropriation known as gender queer. It's for individuals who are neither entirely male nor entirely female. And just to be on the right side of history, I wouldn't hit Okay, them. thank you. Some people just don't know when to shut up. You know, silence is gold, but you know, he was just like, nah, 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 nah. Now that's how you tackle gender issues, Diane Sawyer. No pussyfooting, just straight talk.